Hey guys, I gave Anna my cold, so it's just going to be me this week, but I'm back with another sci-fi review, this time reviewing the sci-fi original series, Z Nation, Season 3, Episode 5, titled Little Red and the Wolves. If you haven't seen it yet and you want to avoid any spoilers, skip this video and come back later because everything I say from this point forward is going to be a spoiler. Okay, this was the most 10K focused episode of the entire series, I think, and I really enjoyed it. It was riveting, it was exciting, it was exciting, it was very edge of your seat throughout the entire episode, and I really, really liked it because 10K is probably my second favorite character after Addie Carver. This episode follows up as episode four immediately, and it's basically a, ch a chase episode. 10K is on the run from one of Murphy's henchmen, and he escapes, and he gets caught, and he escapes, and he gets caught. So, so much so that at the end of the episode, when somebody is walking up on an unconscious 10K, I'm like, damn it, he's gonna get caught again. And no, he's not. We don't know exactly who is walking up on him, but I got to assume it's Warren in the gang. I think it's there's going to be a reuniting in the next episode. So while 10K is on the run throughout this episode, he keeps hallucinating Red from the season three premiere. And I think it's his subconscious telling him that on some level he knows 5K is alive. She tells him when he finally does get to talk to his hallucination of Red that he ha he has to go back and get 5K. And I think on some level he's realized that 5K was rescued by the crows. That's why he kept seeing the crow throughout the episode. So I think he knows it on some subconscious level. And 5K, I think, is going to be coming back soon. At least that's what I really hope for. Also throughout this episode, Murphy is losing it. He's having more zombie urges when he's looking at, at the, the, the doctor's brains, and he does finally eat the brains and gains her knowledge, and he knows how to make the cure now. And when the guy does show back and tells Murphy that 10K is dead, Murphy's like, did you see him die? And he says, no. And he says, then he's not dead. This kid has 10,000 lives. He's going to hook back up with Warren, and they're going to attack. So we got to get ready for that. And now that Murphy has eaten the doctor's brains, and he's more intelligent than he was before, he's also more dangerous than he was before. And he was already pretty dangerous. All right, I'm super jacked to see what happens in the next episode. Zombie kill of the week this week goes to 10K with the hubcap, flinging it at the zombie, cutting the, ha the head half off, like here, zip. Absolutely awesome zombie kill. In fact, that whole scene when, when 10K was chained to the car, that was just a fantastic scene. I think is one of the best sequences of season three. Okay, I think that's pretty much all I have for this video. If you have anything to add, let me know down in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed this review, and I really hope you did, be sure to tell me by dropping a like on it and subscribe for more reviews. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.